Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to be showing you how to change or add memory to an HP Media Center PC M7160N and I will also be showing you the difference between a DVI connector and a standard VGA connector. So, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take the computer out of its spot there, disconnect all its cables, take the case off, and after I'm done that I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are with the side cover off. Now, a couple of upgrades since the last video. First of all, I got a 500 watt power supply. And I got a Zotac GeForce GT520 graphics card to replace the Radeon card I had before. That was only 128 megabytes, the Radeon card was, and this one is a gigabyte. And it can play my games a lot better than the other one. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. To take off, you need to take off the front cover for this, so in order to do that, you must undo these clips here. I think, oh, it's up in there. I don't think you can see them. There's one. There's one there. There's one in the middle. I can the camera to show it. Here. And then there's one more at the bottom down here. And then the front cover just comes off. You gotta be careful though, because you don't want to break your cover. And it's that simple. Now the next step is to remove these two screws here. And here. This will release the pocket media drive bay. Also if you want to change your hard drive, that's what you gotta do. You gotta take out those two screws up. And then over on the side here there's a big green clip sort of thing and then you just pull it out your hard drive is located right over here there's mine mine is upgraded to a 500 gigabyte one okay so the memory I'm just gonna lay the computer down Memory is right here in the blue slots. You can have up to four gigs of memory in this, one gig per slot. I also think that's the maximum that a 32 bit operating system will allow. And in order to take them out, it's the standard. You push on the white clips on both ends. I'm just going to do one for demonstration purposes. Should zoom in a little more. And then you just take it out. Now I'm not going to be adding any memory because I'm quite satisfied with one gigabyte for now. Maybe I'll get some in the future, but right for right now it's alright. And to put it in, it's just the opposite of taking it out. Make sure you got it the right way, which is this way. And doing this one-handed can be a bit of a challenge. But I seem to have gotten it. Then you just push down. Slowly, but fairly firmly, until it clicks into place, like so. And that's how simple it is to add memory to one of these computers. And then you just push that back. Alright, you get your case, and it's just the opposite of putting it back on. You do have to lift up your computer a little bit to put it on, and there you go. Your case is put back on, and it's pretty simple to put your side cover back on. You just get it into place.
and just do that. So now I'm going to put it back in its spot. Well, first I'm going to talk about the difference between DVI and VGA connectors. Now, what will really help you make your decision is depending on the age of your monitor. I have an older monitor up there, so it takes, let me just find the cable here, it takes a VGA connector. This is what it looks like. Now, a DVI connector, let me just turn this around. This graphics card has got both of them. It's got a VGA, which is right there. And the DVI is a bigger connector, and it is newer, and it offers better image quality than the DV or the VGA. So this is what a DVI connector looks like. It's newer. Most new monitors will have both VGA and DVI. There's VGA, there's DVI. Now, the kind of RAM this computer takes is DDR2. And, well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you again soon.